One of the literally biggest things that we need to wrap our heads around when studying astronomy is the vast sense of scale in the universe. Just how far apart are things? Well, it turns out they're really, really, really far apart. But just how far apart? And how can we get an idea of how far apart things really are? Let's take a ping pong ball. Let's imagine the ping pong ball is the size of our sun. And let's go set up a scale model to show just how far apart even just objects in our solar system are. We're going to use the running track at Highline College, just south of Seattle, Washington, for this example. I've laid out markers every 10 meters along the straightaway to indicate a distance of 100 meters. This is a distance that most of us are fairly familiar with, running a 100 meter dash, for example, or about the approximate distance from one side of a Costco to the other. However, when we're dealing with the solar system and beyond, a meter stick, really doesn't do us much good. So for the solar system, we're going to deal with kilometers and astronomical units. An astronomical unit is going to be defined as the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. For our track, let's set one astronomical unit, a distance of approximately 150 million kilometers equal to 3.33 meters. So let's begin with the Sun here at the beginning of the track. At this scale, the sun is approximately the size of a ping pong ball. From here, we only have to walk 1.3 meters, or a distance of 58 million kilometers, or 0.39 astronomical units, to the first of our terrestrial planets, Mercury. But at this scale, the size of Mercury is only one hundredth of a centimeter across. Continuing on, at 0.72 astronomical units, or about 67 million kilometers from the sun, is our sister planet, Venus, roughly the size of a small grain of sand, 2.4 meters down the track from the sun. Next up is Earth, one astronomical unit away from the sun, or about 150 million kilometers. Similar in size to Venus, the Earth is represented by a small grain of sand at this scale. Continuing away from the sun, we have Mars at about 1.5 astronomical units, or about 230 million kilometers. Mars is the last of our terrestrial planets, and we've only gone five meters down the track from the sun. A ways further out is the first of the Jovian planets, Jupiter. Jupiter is 5.2 astronomical units from the sun, roughly 780 million kilometers. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system with a diameter of 143,000 kilometers. So on this scale, it shows up as a small piece of gravel about 17.3 meters from the sun. We have to walk a bit farther to get to the next planet, Saturn. So let's go. Saturn is the second of the Jovian planets, and it's about 9.5 astronomical units, just shy of 32 meters down the track from the Sun. But don't get cozy just yet. Uranus is a little bit further. At 19.2 astronomical units from the Sun, Uranus is about 64 meters down the track. At our scale, this gas giant would be just over one millimeter in diameter. But we have one more planet to go, the last of the Jovian worlds, Neptune. But to get there, we're gonna have to make sure our shoes are laced up because it's a ways down the track. All the way at the end of the track, we come to the last of our Jovian planets, Neptune, at a distance of about 30 astronomical units from the sun. Or in kilometers, that's about four and a half billion kilometers from the sun. At this scale, Neptune is about the same size as Uranus, just over one millimeter in diameter. So not including a lot of other smaller bodies orbiting the sun, that does it for our solar system. But what about the closest star? Let's go back to the sun and find out. Okay, so at this scale, with Neptune being 100 meters away from the sun, how far do you think the nearest star is? At the other end of the parking lot? Nope. At the airport? Six and a half kilometers away? Nope. How about at the Space Needle, which is just under 30 kilometers from here? Still nope. It turns out, to get to our closest neighbor star, we'd have to travel almost 270,000 astronomical units, or this scale, about 900 kilometers away to the town of Bozeman, Montana. Here, we'd find a triple star system known as Alpha Centauri. 
One thing you could do is imagine a ping pong ball in central Montana as the closest star. Road trip? For another example, the brightest star in our night sky is Sirius. And Sirius is about twice as far away as Alpha Centauri. For that distance, we'd have to go from here in Seattle all the way to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And there are only three other stars in between Alpha Centauri and Sirius. Simply put, there's a lot of space in space.